Good morning, my friends. In case you like to cook, heat your home, or just want to be left alone, the Consumer Product Safety Commission, or the CPSC, at the suggestion of over 20 Democrat lawmakers and our resident-in-chief, want to ban gas stoves, which, with everything else in the last year, probably shouldn't come as a huge surprise. These people are insane and want to inconvenience you at every possible turn and downgrade our collective quality of life. Now, the Biden admin is considering a nationwide ban on gas stoves. The Consumer Product Safety Commission, again the CPSC, may decide to outlaw natural gas stoves after a new study claimed the appliances can emit harmful pollution now where have we seen that one before it's for your own good we're from the government and we're here to help gas burning stoves are uh, in about 35 percent of national households and account for supposedly 12.7 percent of childhood asthma cases in the u.s you know i'd like to know how many of those injectables cause autism personally but whatever we'll roll with it Almost 13% of childhood asthma is caused by your gas-burning stove. Now, here's where things get a little ridiculous. Not only is it giving you asthma, they're also comparing it to the equivalent exposure of secondhand cigarette smoke. So now we've got to label it, it's the big bad enemy, and it's killing the children. According to a December 2022 study, which I find interesting that it came out, oh, you know, just three weeks ago, Study published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health, the CPSC may prevent gas stoves from being manufactured and imported, or it could introduce new regulations to limit the emissions produced by the appliances. Bloomberg also reported on this. This is a hidden hazard, Richard Trumpka Jr., a commissioner there, told Bloomberg. Any option is on the table. Products that can't be made safe can be banned. So, you know, the reason that I'm mocking this and I'm not taking it serious for my personal health, just look at California. I mean, that's the blueprint for what we're, <laughs> what we can expect in the rest of the country. I mean, banning gas lawnmowers, you're not allowed to grill, um, you know. You can steal anything under $750 and not get arrested. It's complete clown world, and they're trying to spread it to the other... I'm going to say 48 states, because New York is pretty much there as well. Now, the CPSC previously directed its staff to gather data and perspectives from the public on the potential hazard posed by gas stoves and propose solutions to such dangers. Now they go on to talk about nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, soot released by the stoves are associated with respiratory sickness, cardiovascular issues, and cancer. So yes, cooking your food is now giving you cancer, cardiovascular issues, and in general, killing the children or giving them asthma at the very least. Which, um, you know, amidst an energy crisis, and especially in the winter, uh, especially if you're in the north and renewable energy is unreliable to say the least, or when you're even in Texas and things freeze over and the wind turbines no longer work, uh, tell me, what are we gonna cook on exactly? I'm all ears for a sustainable solution, but I want my stove to work when I turn it on. And I want it to be affordable, almost, most importantly. So uh, share your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you cook with electric or gas? Do you really care? Would that affect you? Now, the commission staff is also working with voluntary standard organizations to examine gas stove emissions and address potential hazards. And of course, the person spearheading this is none other than the most righteous of them all, Cory Booker and 20 other Democratic lawmakers. They're urging the CPSC to crack down on gas stove emissions. The pollution is disproportionately affecting minority and low-income households, and the agency will allow the public to comment on the health concerns associated with gas stoves later this winter, aka they're going to pay a bunch of people to go to the next city hall meeting and say whatever Cory Booker told them to say, because that's generally how that works. You get about nine people that show up. So if you guys learn anything new, 
leave a like, comment down below, subscribe with the notification bell, and then we're going to resume probably a Russia-Ukraine update. There's also a lot of stuff going on in the Middle East, so, well, and domestically. I'm a little hesitant to talk about COVID, uh, but at this point, the views are already still capped on my channel, so I might give it a go.